Hi, I'm Jay. I'm at the most authentic Mexican restaurant in the Coorthas. And my good friend, Martin. Hey, how are nice you? Nice to see you. Welcome. And so happy to be here today. So can we just go into a little bit of the history of, you know, your past, where you came from? Well, I came from Mexico City in 2006. I've been doing the farmer's market for 10 years. Mm -hmm. And people were always asking, where is your spot? Right. So when we finally found a place, we opened two years ago, mm -hmm. and we are trying to give it a go. Excellent. And things have been going well. They are going really well. People seem to really, really like it because I'm showing them what is real Mexican. No, the Tex-Mex, everybody thinks is Mexican. Right, what are we going to be making today? We're gonna make you real tacos. Thing is, most people think like tacos came in a hard shell with lettuce and tomatoes and things like it. Nothing like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna show you what is the real Mexican taco and let's see what you think. Ah, can't wait. So I'm gonna make you a couple of tacos that are very traditional in Mexico. The first one is chicken tinga. It's a pulled chicken in a chipotle tomato broth with caramelized onions. That's the basic on Mexican cuisine. Like that's the very basic. And then I'm gonna make you another one called pollo a la crema. It's a pulled chicken in a cream sauce with poblano peppers and caramelized onions. And that's my mom's mistake. <laughs> one day we have some people coming over home and we have a side dish called rajas con crema. It's just poblano peppers with caramelized onions and sour cream. She was talking with people and she didn't realize that she put the chicken on it. So she was like, oops, mix it, try it, this is delicious. And I haven't made it for the last 30 years. So this one is a pollo a la crema. It's a pulled chicken in a cream sauce with poblano peppers and caramelized onions. Tinga, a pulled chicken in a chipotle tomato broth. And last but not least, we're not gonna get you to try cochinita pibil, it's a pulled pork in a Mayan sauce. It's very tangy. And as you can see, it's very red, but it's not spicy. Most people think it's spicy because of the color, but this one is actually for kids. And it needs salsa. And this one is a pico de gallo, very traditional. Most people is always asking me how I make my salsa, and the secret is I made it for 40 years. <laughs> then I have a tomatillo salsa. And last but not least, we're gonna add a bit of habanero pickle onions. Those ones sound spicy, but many people when they came and tried it, they are like, oh my God, this is amazing. They are not used to that flavor. So. This is how you get your tacos in here. So good. I never actually knew how to eat tacos, but I was taught today, the taco comes to you. You don't come to the taco. I'm your friend Martin from La Mesita Restaurante. 